Tiana Brandon here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have another Here's What I Think video. Um, I do think I'm going to try to make these more consistent on my channel and do them more frequently because I really do enjoy giving y'all my opinion whether y'all want to hear it or not. Um, so today, Here's What I Think is going to be focused on Soul, Disney's new movie with Jamie Foxx. First of all, let me start off by saying when I first started seeing the previews of this movie, which was like, what, maybe in the summer or sometime, like sometime earlier in 2020 i was really intrigued i am a huge disney fan i love disney movies for the most part and so i was like oh i'm really gonna enjoy this i can't wait for it to come out yada 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 i have disney plus so i was like oh whenever it drops i'm gonna watch it um now we're not gonna pretend that disney does not have a have a history of Having racial things incorporated in their movies. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Um, so, when I saw that the Jamie Foxx was going to be a soul throughout the movie, I was like, here we go again. Um, black people once again or something other than the person in Disney movies. But, once I started seeing more photos as the release date was coming up closer and closer... And I was seeing more like humans and things like that and black people. I'm like, oh, maybe they're changing the storyline. Maybe he's going to be a person throughout the whole movie. So I decided, you know, what? I'm going to give it a chance. So Christmas, um, my son and I, we sat on the couch. We're like, we're going to watch the movie. Well, I said we're going to watch the movie. He just sat next to me and saw a cartoon coming on. Um, and I did not finish the movie. I'm going to be honest. I could not get through it. I'm not even going to try to pretend that I finished that movie. I could not finish it. So... The movie starts with Jamie Foxx as like a, I think he teaches a middle school, he's like a middle school music teacher, a band teacher, whatever. And so that's how the movie starts. And it's just him teaching people how to play instruments in school. And then it turns into him getting a gig playing for this, I'm assuming she's like a famous jazz singer or whatever, a jazz musician or whatever. He gets a gig playing for her. He's so excited on his way home from the audition that he had for her. He falls into like a manhole or whatever and then he turns into a soul. And I guess the point of the movie is him trying to get back to his body in time for the gig, basically. Um, I was rocking with the movie in the beginning when he was a person. And then he turned into a soul. And I was like, here we go. We can't pretend that Disney does not have a history of doing this when it comes to black characters. Whether that is <clears throat> as far back as if you want to take it there, the Little Mermaid. We know Sebastian was black. <laughs> and he's a crab. Which is fine because they're under the sea if you think about it. But even the songs he was singing was... Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. And then we get to Princess and the Frog, which I was obsessed with Princess and the Frog when it was coming out because my name is Tiana. Obviously, it's not spelled the same way, but I was like, finally, oh my God, we got the same name. And so that was my running, like, Princess Tiana. Like, that was my thing when that movie came out. And then she was a frog 90% of the movie. And now here we get with Soul. And he's a person when the movie starts and then he turns into a soul. And then I got so excited because, well, not so excited, but I got more interested when he was about to jump back into his body and then he ends up in the body of a cat. And so then you spend the rest of the movie with him. And I'm assuming, because like I said, I didn't even finish it. Then you end up spending the rest of the movie with him in the body of a cat. And then I'm, I'm assuming eventually towards the end of the movie, he learns his purpose in life and he gets put back into his right body. If we're following the trajectory of typical Disney movies, the stereotype. I'm assuming that's what happens at the end. Because throughout the parts that I saw, the, 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 the soul who he was on this road to discovery with, Kept saying, your life's not interesting. Like, you, you don't have anything good going on in your life and stuff like that. So, I'm assuming towards the end that changes and Jamie Foxx starts to... Jamie Foxx's character, Joe, starts to, like, go on this journey of this is the type of person I am and this is what gives me excitement in my life and things of that nature and standing up to his mom and all that. I'm assuming that's how the movie is ending. Which is fine. But why does he have to be something other than human to do that? 
it, it couldn't... Jamie Foxx is such a great actor. And he's such a talented... I don't care that it was just animation. He's such a great actor. He's such a talented musician. There was so much more that could have been done with that movie through him being a person as opposed to him turning into some blue flubber and then into a cat. Meanwhile, the new soul who hasn't been technically born yet is in his body and doesn't know how to walk and is excited for eating pizza. Like, I feel like there was just so much more that they could have done with that role and there's so much more that they could have done with that movie. And I was watching it and I'm like, I, I'm, I'm going to turn it off. So I turned it off. My son wasn't even interested in it, which is a lot. He's two almost. He'll be two in March and he wasn't even interested in the movie. So I turned the movie off. I'm like, I'm going to go look at some tweets about it because maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the only person who feels like this is weird. Like, it's weird that he he is going through all these changes outside of his body. Like, that was just weird to me. If so I went on Twitter and I was scrolling through people's, um, I just like to search, like, stuff. So I just searched So Disney or whatever. And I'm looking at all these posts. And some people say, oh, it's such a great movie. And then there were the few sprinkles of tweets as well. Like, why doesn't he, why can't he be a person? This feels weird. Why does it have to... They could have done better. And that's the same standpoint that I feel like. It just feels weird that he's on this road of self-discovery, basically, as something other than himself. And it just makes me feel like... And and it's not even just him, because it's that same storyline with movies like uh, Princess and the Frog. She goes on this journey of basically self-discovery as something other than herself. And what makes me so annoyed with things like that, Princess and the Frog, Tiana was so sure of who she was. She knew she wanted to cook. She knew she wanted to have a restaurant. She knew she was putting all of the other fun stuff on the back burner because she had a goal that she was accomplishing or working towards accomplishing, towards accomplishing which was great cool i get it i understand it i relate to it and then they turned it okay but you don't really you don't know yourself we're gonna make her a frog so she can learn more about herself and fall in love at the same time like why do you equate for black main characters in these animated disney movies that for them to be able to go on a journey of self-discovery and for them to be able to learn more about themselves, they have to be something other than themselves. In this new movie, he starts off the movie being sure that he wants to pay to play the piano. He wants to be a musician. He wants to be a paid musician. That's his passion. He's teaching as a way to make money until he gets to his passion. His mom hates the fact that he is chasing a pipe dream, but he knows that that's what he wants. It, he's not getting there fast enough. Maybe he feels like an older gentleman, maybe, but he's sure that that's what he wants for himself. And then for him to go on a journey of self-discovery to make his life seem worth it, he has to become something other than the black man that he is originally. And for these types of movies, there can be a journey of self-discovery as you're... Like, why do they have to be something other than themselves? Princess and the Frog, as a Princess Disney movie, she could have just been the girl who wanted to make gumbo at the new Tiana's place. That could have been her story. She still could have fallen in love. She still could have gone on this journey of understanding that she has to have a balance of work and play. That still could have happened without her becoming a frog. For this movie, so, whatever the point was, because like I said, after a point, I said, you know, I'm done. So we're going to focus on up until the part that I saw. He could have decided that he needed to stand up to his mom. He could have decided that he needed to chase after music more because this is what he really wanted he could have made his life um more worth living or whatever that case may have been may have been as a black man he didn't have to become a soul and he didn't have to become 
a cat to discover whatever made him happy in life or whatever made his life worth it. And I feel like it's belittling because we as people have thoughts within our bodies. We don't like, you know what I mean? Like, why do our thoughts have to be considered something other for Disney movies? Like, why are you having frog thoughts? Why are you having soul thoughts? Why are you having cat thoughts? Like, that's just weird to me. And I, for one, love the music in The Princess and the Frog. And I love the fact that her name is Tiana. Like, I, in the fact that she's a black princess, I resonate with that. But even with that movie, it was kind of like, what about her becoming a frog? couldn't she do as a human like she still could have gone on that journey of self-discovery somehow with Prince Naveen and she still could have learned how to have fun and how to enjoy life as a black girl like it didn't have to be her as a frog with this new Jamie Foxx movie he could have learned whatever his purpose was with music as the black musician not as the cat who got stuck in, like, it, it just was weird. That's it. It was just weird. And I don't know if I'll go back and give it a second chance and try to finish the movie out. I probably will never go back and watch it. Um, Disney needs to do better. Because for Black people to have created, we create, we have created so much, like, we have so much culture and we have created so much of pop culture like popular culture is black culture these days and it has been for a while and i just feel like that was not it like y'all could have did better and y'all should have done better and y'all completely missed the mark that is all let me let me know what you guys thought about the movie down below if you guys thought it was weird that like or if you guys think the fact that disney continues to do this is weird let me know down below um, if you enjoyed the movie, let me know down below. If you think I'm just crazy and I'm reading too much into a children's movie, let me know down below. We can talk about it. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Share this video if you want. Fine by me. Um, I'll talk to y'all in the next video.